I've been seeing videos of people at this Ed Sheeran concert that happened. I think like a couple. So as an Australian and as an Australian who attends a lot of concerts, let me tell you this. It depends on the entertainer. So at Ed Sheeran's concert, which is the one that I recently attended about a week, maybe two weeks ago, I sat up in the seats. But in his mosh pit area, there were seats. The whole area around the stage was seated. You were, I mean, like there was encouragement to sit, but no one was forced to sit down. It depended on the angle, because like it depends if you can see him, if you can't see him, it depends. Up in the seated sections, it's encouraged you sit because you don't want to be rude to the people behind you. But I'm also incredibly rude when I go to concerts. And if I'm in the seated area, I'm getting my ass up and dancing. So I don't give a damn about the person sitting behind me. Sods, guys. Um, but with Ed Sheeran's concert, no one sat down. Okay, yeah, there was a few people who sat down. But we all got up and boogied our little butts off because that's what we did. A couple of weeks before that, I went to Elton John's concert. I was in the mosh pit area. He encouraged everyone to sit. Not him specifically, but the stadium he was at was all seated in the mosh pit area. Now granted that his demographic is over the age of 30, so we all know what happens when you go to 30, your body starts hating you. So there was encouragement to sit. Majority of his performance, the audience was sitting. It didn't get until maybe like the last half, maybe last 30 minutes of his show, everyone was up on their feet. Uh, what is it? I, a few years back, I went to Hailstorm. Pardon me. They're a band. They were in a venue. There was no seats in the venue. We were all pretty much thrown in the mosh pit and standing on the balcony. We were all jumping up and dancing. Um, same time around that, I saw Alice Cooper perform live. Um, his mosh pit area was all seated. Again, his demographic is over 30s. So, but you could still see everybody sit, uh, standing. Some people were sitting, but everyone was standing and boogieing their asses off. Um, who else have I gone to? <laughs> I completely blanked. COVID ruined my memory. But it depends on the artist and it depends on the setup of the venue. I've been to Ed Sheeran's concert twice, two different, um, for his mathematics and for his divide tour. Both times he had seats. Both times people danced in the mosh pit, even though there were seats. Like I said, it depends on the venue, it depends how the setup of the stages and everything including that. There are some people who will absolutely boogie their butts off from start to finish and then die at the end of the show because they're like, oh my god, I feel like I just ran a marathon and it's great. And then there's people who will sit up in their set seats who just got the cheap seats and they will just be like, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and vibe because I'm, I've got a good view anyway. There's people in the mosh pit who are like, yeah, okay, cool, there's a seat and I know where my seat is. But I'm in the mosh pit, so I'm still going to get my ass up and boogie. So, so it, it depends, like I said, it depends on venue, it depends on artists, it depends on the setup of stage. We can be quiet, but like, all of our shows, I mean, what concert isn't after 6pm at night? Most of us are coming home from work, most of us are coming home from school, most of us are coming home from a long, exhausted day. And then we go to a concert and we have to be there until like 10.30 at night. And then we have to figure out how to get home and be up and ready by 5 a.m. the next morning to go to school or to go to work. So yeah, maybe we're too buggered, but I don't know. That's my reasoning and that's my reasoning for someone who's been going to concerts since she was six years old in Australia.